Medical researchers are closely watching Israel as it becomes the first country to use vaccine boosters for COVID-19. And that's not all. Israel is also out front in testing promising treatments. With COVID-19 cases on the rise, Israeli healthcare leaders took the lead in recommending a third dose of the Pfizer vaccine. It's working, it's safe, and it's the way to defeat this virus. Although more than 60% of Israelis are fully vaccinated, this latest surge could lead to a fourth lockdown over the upcoming Jewish holidays. As I said, what we're seeing in Israel right now, even though there is a surge in cases, um, the level of severe COVID hospitalizations and death is much lower and people are vaccinated. Dr. Yair Lewis, a former member of Israel's national coronavirus response, believes there could be yet another surge. Lewis says while the vaccine is important, treatments are crucial. Obviously, developing therapeutics to treat people who have been infected is something that we should be able to actively protect people who have been infected. So we have to have a drug as the second line of defense. And that's the goal of Hebrew University professor Yaakov Nachmias and his team. CBN News met him last year after they identified that phenofibrate, a drug on the market since 1975, could possibly fight the disease. Clinical trials now show it's working. And we looked at 15 severe COVID-19 patients. These are patients that have to have oxygen. What we saw is that inflammation, essentially pneumonia, disappeared in just the first 48 hours. COVID-19 creates an overreaction of the immune system known as a cytokine storm. Instead of fighting the lung infection, it destroys the lung tissue itself. 93% compared to about 25% in the general population, could go home without oxygen support in less than a week. Nachmia says two clinical studies on four continents are also using the drug for treatment. One of the things that makes us very excited about phenofibrate is that it's, it has an exceptional safety record. The second thing is that it's incredibly cheap. At Tel Aviv's Ichilov Hospital, Professor Nadir Arbor continues work on an Israeli drug called ExoCD24. Earlier this year, he told CBN News about his first round of trials. And we give it by inhalation, it's very simple. So we enrolled 30 patients in the phase one we checked for safety, and the drug was very safe, no side effects whatsoever. A clinical trial in several Greek hospitals has shown similar results on 90 patients, with about 80 leaving the hospital within five days. In the near future, he believes it will be used as an at-home therapy and potentially a platform for treating other similar ailments.